Paramount Pictures. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Why don't you have the balls to stand up to me? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's Like Us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Bobby on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? It's a statement, actually. Hello. Hi. Um, you know, you're ruining people's lives telling them to get abortions. I mean, I don't care what you tell guys about screwing girls and all this stuff. That's everybody's opinion. But when you tell people to get an abortion... What is that about? Uh, what it's about is uh, having a baby when you're 21 years old is going to, in most cases, uh, ruin your life in any number of ways. You're going to make less money. You're going to have less freedom. You're going to have less ability to experience life. And uh, I think I'm helping people save their lives, not ruin them. Well, actually, he shouldn't be pulling down the pants if he doesn't want to take care of the responsibility. And all men he is taking care of the responsibilities. If she's willing to have an abortion and he wants an abortion, then it should be done. And what if that's her only chance of having a baby ever in her life? Well, because in most cases, dear, as you know, don't spread misinformation. In most cases, when you have an abortion, you can still have babies. It does not prevent your ability to have babies. It doesn't. And some people, it does. Uh, well, in some people, any kind of surgery can uh, stop them from doing any number of things, okay? I know somebody was having a tooth pulled the other day, and the doctor said, ooh, it's real close to the nerve. It could cause facial paralysis. Oh, what if he uh, didn't have the tooth pulled? What if he had it pulled, he had facial paralysis? These are the decisions people face. But the bottom line is, in most cases, people don't suffer facial paralysis from going to the dentist. And in most cases, people are able to have babies after having abortions. It's just a fact. Well, I just think that that's just like disgusting nothing disgusting, disgusting about it there is nothing disgusting about it um what if your mother would have boarded you and you wouldn't be here right now well then i wouldn't be doing the show somebody else would be doing this show um i don't think anybody else has a debt to do the show you're just sick well let's see so that's what i think so i guess you wish i was aborted and the people that so therefore you are in support of abortion them. you're you're an abortion uh, supporter no i don't even care if people have abortions that's not what i'm saying I'm saying is you're sitting here and you're giving them good advice to save their advice. lives. It's not good advice. Yes, it is. No, if they're willing to pull down their pants and make them babies, you've said this already. To take care of them. You've said That's this already. And uh, by the way, I, I pull down my pants all the time. But if anyone gets pregnant, they're having an abortion. <laughs> yeah, right. They, it's all I've already done it four times, dear. Well, I can't wait till the day the lady says, F you, and I'm out of here. Well, guess what? Most women already know before we have sex what I will and won't do. And any woman who wants to have a baby if she gets pregnant won't have sex with me. I guess so. So I, 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 I don't have the opinion. problem. It's not an accident that I made it to my age without having any babies. That was done by design, darling. Mm, anyway, and that's okay. why I'm rich and successful, and I've got a wine cellar and a house in the Hollywood Hills down the block from Paris Hilton. Uh, the, the reason is because I didn't let some woman have a baby and take my money. Um, guys are just idiots. I would like you to know that. All of you guys are just idiots. Thank you. Well, uh, who are you having sex with these days, dear? Are you a lesbian? <laughs> And by the way, I love the uh, level of uh, discourse when you just hang up the phone. That's great. I Meaning you had nothing else to say. You had no gas in the tank. Amazing. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Patrick on the Tom Likas show. 
Hey, Tom. First time, long time. Uh, hey. Just calling in to get your opinion on how I handled a certain situation here recently. Tell me. Well, uh, uh, I, I must admit I did break a few of your rules here initially, and I, I was quite pussy whipped. I was going out with a solid 10. Um, you know, I, I felt that I had peaked out, especially for my age, and was just amazed that I was even with this girl. So I did break a few rules, and I guess one of the rules I broke towards, you know, into the few months of seeing this girl was I, I booked a trip to Cabo. Thought it'd be fun to take her down there, right? How'd that work out for you? Not really. And, well, yes and no, and that's kind of what I'm getting to. So skipping a lot of the, the games and whatnot, she played a week before we were getting ready to go to Cabo, and I was so excited about it. She was more than happy to go. She was really excited. Never been on a trip like this before. She started nagging and bitching, okay? Just one day about stupid menial stuff, okay? At that point, I knew we weren't going to be together uh, very much longer. I decided, look, you can't let this girl walk all over you anymore like you've been doing. It's not worth it. You know, if you're going to drop it, drop it hard. Don't drop it soft. Don't give her the benefit of going to Cabo. You know, I might as well not even take her. So what I did is I waited until the night before. She was all ready to go, all excited, had her bags packed. I called her up the night before. Again, we're supposed to leave that next morning. I said, look, I said, if you're going to have an attitude like that, like you did earlier in the week, I'd rather go by myself. I'll have more fun. And I hung up the phone. Did not answer any of her text messages. Did not pick up the phone when she kept trying to call back. Went down to Cabo, had the time of my life. Ended up meeting two Hooters girls from Oklahoma City. My phone in my room was ringing off the hook, and I ended up having to unplug it. I assume it was her because she knew where I was staying, and just tore her mind up. Love it. So Love like it. I, like I said, I was I was definitely uh, breaking some rules initially, but uh, I felt much better about myself coming back from Cabo, doing that before instead of giving her the benefit of going. And that's the important thing. That's right. How you feel about yourself is very important. I think a lot of guys don't bother to think about that. And I didn't think about it before, you know. And uh, I felt stepped on. And I tell you, I feel like a million bucks now, though. Good for you. I'm yeah. proud, Patrick. Thank you. Could you take me out Lindsay Lowen style? Lindsay Lowen style. What is that? That's the, uh, the the car crash with the... Uh, the uh, oh, yeah, we there. did that. We did that. Okay, yeah, Lindsay Lowen style. Here you right. go. Thank you. Lindsay Lowen style. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that part. <laughs> 1-800-5-800-TOM, like us, 101. I am your professor, Dan, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Well, can I speak to Tom, please? Yes, hold on, please. It's the Tom Likas Show. This is Dan. The Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Can I help How's you? How's it going? Great. You know, this is Dan. Hey. Uh, I met a girl online, uh, and uh, she's in uh, Portland, Oregon. And, uh, well, I actually proposed to her. Why'd you do that? Because I'm a pussy. <laughs> I friggin' like, I don't know, I, we got along online, and we chatted, and it was just cool. We just Wait a minute, you proposed like, to her online? Had you ever met her? Well, like, I, I went on one date with her. You went on one date like, with her? Yeah. And you proposed to her? Yeah. Son, are you, is your middle name Poindexter? Are you uh, undesirable well, I've been, I've been in some way? I've been talking to her for like four years already. I don't care. You, you were not talking to her. You were typing into a box. But, like... Oh, yeah. Well, I don't see what's wrong with it, though. I mean, like, if, if she came over here and she said she said she's going to come over here. So well, why you if, if you think well, that, what you're doing is great, why but, are you calling but, here? See, the problem with that is that I, 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 that one time that I freaking got with her, you know, we we, um, you know, and uh, she um, she got pregnant. Right, and uh, just so I know, uh, because I do use condoms uh, on my next date, I want to know uh, for my own use, uh, what brand of condoms were you using so I avoid those? I was using those uh, those um, Trojans. You were using I Trojans? From, I got them, yeah, because I got them from uh, Planned Parenthood. You went to Planned Parenthood and you got Trojans? Yeah. So let me understand, you, you don't have enough money to afford to buy your own condoms? 
Well, no, not exactly. I see. So you don't have money. You meet women want... on the Internet. Yeah, I don't want to steal them from work either because... I'm not suggesting yeah. you do that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Right. Mm. And Parkland, what do we tell you about women in Parkland all the time? They're all like, well, I don't know. They're like fat. They're like big. Big. I and... freaking hate fat chicks, but like this this girl isn't fat. And she's like, she's like really good looking and, you know, she's cool. Well, there you go. So, good luck. But you don't think I should like stick with her or do you think I should stick with her? You're not with her. Well, technically I am. No, because... you're not. Any more than I'm with you now. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, well thank you. And, uh, she is a chat buddy. True, true. All right. Well, I think I'm going to marry her anyways, though, because... Well, know, then why did you, you call know? here? Why? Why? Cause, cause I just I wanted to know what you would say. And, and, why know, do you you're care? Not, you're not really helping me out. Because you're really... You're not, you're you not don't want any help. Yourself. You want me to tell you that everything you did was right. I'm not going to do that. You, you don't. You, you don't want advice. What I, what you I don't. Did was wrong. You don't want advice. It was wrong. It was wrong. Now it's wrong. No, it was always wrong. Okay. You shouldn't be dating online. Okay. Uh, you, you, you 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 go out with somebody one time, yeah. that's that's a relationship, and then you propose to them. Wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong. Everything about this is wrong. Okay. But you, what, what, you called here, what, thinking I was going to say, good work, Dan. Congratulations. I thought, I, thought, I thought you'd give me some comfort or something, at least. Comfort? What is it to be comforted about? Well, because everyone, everyone who calls... You are delusional. Comfort. You you think you have a relationship with a woman who lives 750 miles away who you've seen one time. Yeah. You're That's delusional. True. Might be. A geek. All right. Right? Yeah. Have you been, let me guess. Let me guess. Renaissance Fair. It's on the calendar for you every year, is it? Mm. Are you one of those? I'm a computer guy. Yeah, I, I can tell. And Renaissance Fair, you, you've been? No, I've never been there. Star Trek conventions? Yeah, I've been to Star Trek. I've been I'm to sure a World of Warcraft convention. Yeah, uh-huh. You're into D&D, maybe? Yeah, I, I, well, I play, I play Counter-Strike a lot. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you find fat women bustiers to be attractive? No, I don't like fat chicks. You don't like fat I chicks? Think, I think fat chicks should be put on an island. It's like friggin' terrible, man. Yeah. America is getting overrun by fat chicks. Right. It's and the off. reason you are not capable of meeting a woman in person, like a living, breathing individual, is what? You have no game. You're a Poindexter. You're a computer geek. You're well, a I'm D&D good. guy. On, uh, online there. Well, that's wonderful. Really Anybody can cut and paste, Dan. I'm talking about meeting people in person. Oh, well, I never actually, you know, I go to school a lot, so I don't, I don't really. Uh, we all went to school, Dan. Yeah, true. You're incapable of talking to a woman in person, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, you guess. Well, now yeah, you're delusional enough to, to you would marry a woman you've seen one time. Yeah. Kind of By pathetic. the way, do you even know if that's your kid? Uh, well, she said it was, so. Uh, oh. And, and, of course, since you never see her in person, you have to believe her. Well, she's a nice girl. Like, she always tells me, you know, everything about her and stuff. And You don't know what? You don't know if, if it's true. You don't see her. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess? Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, don't, I, don't know. I know you don't. And that's why you're willing to marry a woman you don't know. I mean, Sorry, she's up man. there all by herself all the time. You think she hasn't gotten laid by somebody else? Get with the program. Yeah. Okay. It's true. You don't even know if that's your kid. You don't I even know if she's it. pregnant. Well, she says she is, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, women say all kinds of things, Dan. Yeah, true. You're right. And you're all ready to propose. Well, I got her a ring and stuff, so. Oh, Jesus. And you were hoping I was going to congratulate you or something? Well, I, you're a nice guy, you know? Just... No, I'm not. I'm a bastard. You're not a bastard. Yes, I am. Okay. And where's your father, son? Uh, he's at work at the moment. I know, but is he with your mother? No. I'm not surprised. And uh, does he, do you talk to him about this stuff? Did you tell him you have a, an imaginary girlfriend in Portland? 
Well, they know about, like, her and stuff. They saw her pictures, and, you know, I was able to get my mom on, and she talked to her for a little while. On the oh, online? Uh, your mom t- your mom typed into the box a few times? Well, no, we have a micro- uh, microphone and speakers, so. Well, that's great. Yeah, I got a, I got a Plantronics headset. I'm sure you do. I bet you got a pocket protector, too. No. And a slide rule. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Thanks, sir. Well, Dan, yeah. sounds like the romance of a lifetime. Best of luck to all of you. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. I have sex with men who give me money and I invest it in the market. Are you mad? I'm not a $40 date. There are plenty of suckers out there. <laughs> yeah. It's Likas 101 on the Tom Likas Show. Tune in at work. Thanks, I will. San Diego's Dave and Jeff. Weekdays on 1037 Free FM. Look at this mess. I'm sure there's a wreck somewhere. It looks like a sick alert's still in effect for the South 5. Traffic is a real mess from Carlsbad all the way down to Via de la Valle. Get a little bit of a break and then it starts to slow again. From the 805 split all the way down to Pacific Highway, the right lane there is still closed because of an earlier car fire. Also got a big problem for the South 805 after Telegraph Canyon Road. They've got the right lane blocked off due to a fuel spill. Still slows from the North Park area to that point. Office Depot has over 500 choices of ink toner and fax supplies in store or online. Office Depot is always low priced and never out of stock. And that's their guarantee. Office Depot taking care of business. I'm Liza Lake. More like us coming up. 1037 Free FM, San Diego's FM Talk Station. Adam Carolla. I think I hear something. Hey, it's Adam Carolla from the Adam Carolla Show. Marlise Elizabeth Cast is here. Tabloid prodigy. You name your kid Toby, you're asking for trouble. I mean, let's be, <laughs> be honest. Oh, wait, Spider Man and Titanic dude are gay? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they do. You know, okay, here's. <laughs> let me explain the difference what's, between. What's that crappy shoots out his wrist now. Let me explain uh, the difference between. Have you seen uh, the movie, huh? Yes, it did. There's gay gay, there's Bill pre op board op Bill gay, right. and then there's summer camp gay. <laughs> Why am laughing? Because he knows. The Adam Carolla Show, mornings on 1037 Free FM. You, uh, the professor's take on Paris Hilton and what you need to learn from what has happened with Paris Hilton getting out of jail. Here's what you need to take with you from this. This is why you need to follow your professor's instruction. You need to get as much education as you can. You need to get the highest paying career you can get. You need to have as much money as you can amass. Because uh, what we should learn from the Paris Hilton affair is this. The more money you have, the more power you have, the more power you have. Well, for example, the more likely it is you'll get out of jail. You'll get away with things. You can do what you want. Plus, get every hot chick there is. Period. Period. No dropping out of college and going to trade school or following your girlfriend while she goes to college and you sit home doing nothing. This has to stop, boys. It has to stop. Likas 101, I am your professor on the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Chris. Hello. Hey, Professor. How are you? Doing great. (laughs) I'm just looking for a little bit of advice here. All right. Okay, I'm a 35-year-old guy, never been married, no kids, and uh, I think I had pretty much year philosophies in life here. But I went down to, I'm a boat captain, I live in San Diego. I went down to Florida and uh, met a girl that was an interior decorator on a boat down there. Everything was going good, and I found out she's a, a Colombian a citizen. Doesn't have a green card, no visa. A couple months went by, you know, everything was still going good. And uh, I came back to San Diego. My job was over down there. And she called me up and uh, told me she was pregnant. You know, 35, the girl is gorgeous, you know, beautiful. 10, knockout. So I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I'm ready to get married. And, uh, you know, and nothing, you know, visa talk or anything like that while I was down there. Just kind of wondering what your advice is. No, I think I'm in love. I hope I'm in love, but, you know. I think I'm in love. (laughs) You know what? I think I'm in love (laughs) is not somebody who's in love. Okay. No, I am in love. I want to say, now, okay, I'll I'll go back on that. I am in love. Definitely in love. Were you in love before she told you she was pregnant? I sure was. 
in love. Yeah, in love, in love, or in lust, but you know, pretty much love. <laughs> Definitely love. Okay, now I'm back in San Diego. She came out a couple weeks ago. I got married real quick. We're going straight forward. We're going right for the visa. Going, you know. And my buddies are going, "Hey, sure, you know her well enough to, you know, this is gonna." Yeah, you know, right. Think, That's a very good point. Yeah, well, I know it's a good point, but again, I'm in love. I think she loves me. Yeah, but you know? you, you, how how many times have you actually seen her? Uh, well, in, in Florida, I saw her, like, for two months straight, you know, uh, pretty much every day for two months, and it's quick, you know, everything's going quick. She came out to San Diego, we got married real quick, and... Uh, oh, so you already months, did it, you got married. Go ahead. You got married already. Oh, uh, I'm married, she came out to San Diego after. I got married, she's pregnant, so then I, it was, it's a long story, but I flew back down to Florida, I asked her parents for a hand, old school, you know, old school family, and I'm a, I'm an Italian guy. And her family. And where her, old where her, school, where her, uh, where her wait, wait, where'd you meet her? Wait, 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 where'd you meet her family? Miami? Uh, no, no, Fort Lauderdale, Boca. All right, but the point is, they're also illegal aliens? Well, no, they got visas, and she had a visa no. too. She was on a, she was on a visa that was up in June. So her visa's up in June, uh, June 6th. Right, and what about her parents? Uh, her parents are on one year visas that they have to re up, like right. every year. And, uh, has she asked you yet to get them in too? No, 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 nothing like that. No, so they're going no. back to Colombia? Um, well, her, she was planning on going back to Columbia. Now she's pregnant and things have changed. Now she's a married woman. <laughs> and I, you know, and, uh, she's saying she's staying here and we're, we're, we're in it for the long haul here. <laughs> All right. So did so. you call with a question for me? No, the question was your advice, basically. You know, what do you, what do you, what do you think? You well, know, you, here's the thing, Chris. Right, you told you. Dean, you know, yeah. when you called in, you told Dean something totally different. Um, and, uh, why don't you say to me what you said to him? Um, well, no, I was just wondering what you... You're backpedaling. You, about, you are you know, backpedaling. You are backpedaling. Uh, I'm not sort of backpedaling. How, how much am I well, backpedaling? Well, I'm going to tell, <laughs> tell, tell the audience what you told Dean. All right, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You told Dean that you think you may have been tricked in order to get a green card. Well, no, I mean, that's what That's what, what you tell told him. him. Why you did know? you tell him that? That's what my friends are telling me, but I don't think so. Well, um, that's, that's what you told Dean. Here, you but... thought You told Dean you thought so. Well, <laughs> said on the screen as you were saying. Do you remember? When, do you remember when you talked to Dean, the screener? Do you remember yeah, you were I talking to him and he was typing? He of typed. It runs across my mind. He okay. typed what you said as you were saying it. Well, it runs across my mind. You well, know, but I'm, don't I'm, lie to me. But the point that. is, you're lying to me and you're backpedaling. You told Dean no, that was your reason for calling in. You know, but, that's not you know, the point. You told so Dean, to green, pal, listen to me. I'm Shut up for a second. Seriously. <laughs> Go ahead. You told Dean that you think you may have been tricked in order to get a green card. And then when you get on the air, you didn't even mention that. Well, okay. Well, I'm not, I mean. So I you've been he, backpedaling. Well, maybe I'm backpedaling a little bit. <laughs> but, I mean, it's still pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's not backpedaling. It's it's the same thing my buddies think. Well, oh, maybe she's using you for the green card. So, no, I'm not backpedaling. I'm Did she you, use you for the green card or not? These, I think she, she loves me. My friend's saying, well, she's tricking you for the green card. So, I mean, it's the same. I'm not back, but I'm, I'm going forward. <laughs> mm -hmm. You tell, you know. Now, so. let's see what happens when she has the baby. Well, when that, what happens when it, when she has the baby? Yeah. Well, then, you know, I'm I'm committed, you know. I'm just yeah, what committed. happens if she says, I'm going back to Columbia with your baby? Goodbye. Well, yeah, then I'll be pissed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> also, work, let me know? ask you this question. You married her. Has she uh, gone to the INS with you and applied for papers? Sure has, yeah. Yeah, we went, and uh, when she was in San Diego for the three weeks, and we went to the INS, and I uh, was supposed to be set up for a meeting here at the, I don't know, beginning of Ju 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 July, July, uh -huh. early July. And uh, how does this person from Colombia, who's never been to California before, like living in San Diego? Well, she you know, she like I said, she was here for three weeks, really quick, and went back to see her parents. I'm I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts, so I'm heading back there in uh in a week, and she's meeting me out there and meeting the family and going from there. So I, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I think everything's good. I'm just listening to, uh, you know, other people telling me, yeah, you know, you don't know her too well, so you better watch out. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, I think everything's you know everything's. Why good. did you let her I'm get sure pregnant? Why why, why did you let her get not why did wait wait stop? Why did you let her get pregnant? Well, 
you know, I was ready, man. I'm 35 years old. <laughs> it's, it's not that I let it get married. But, pal, I, yeah, you, there's a pal. Yeah, I don't know if you look at the plumbing. You're not a woman. There is no biological time clock. You can have a baby at 35 or 36 or 45 or 56. You don't have to have a baby today. Well, I know, but I, you know, I'm ready. You know, uh, pal, pal, yeah. you're ready when you are with somebody who you know loves you and who you know is going to stay around. Yeah, but how, how do you know? After well, two put it months? this way: I mean, there's a lot of marriages after two months. You, you know, don't that... know, and that's my point. You don't impregnate somebody until you're fairly certain that the two of you are going to stay together. I'm certain. My no, you're not certain. certain. No, you're not years. certain. <laughs> you called here and said you think you may have been tricked. No, no. Well, yeah, no, my friend said it. No, now, you, know, you said it. My mind. You said it, and you so, admitted it earlier in this conversation. Well, well, you know, you would be saying the same thing if you're in my shoes. No. You would never be certain. There's no certainties in Pal, life. Pal, guess true. what? I you would not, <laughs> I would not be know? in your position. I have dated women from other countries over and over. I do not impregnate them. By the way, pal, I'm not 35. I'm 50, and I do not impregnate anybody. Well, I know, I know, I know. You and, know and I certainly, I, I, I certainly do not get married to people I hardly know. Uh, well, you know, you know, I, I kind of live by the seat of my pants. <laughs> also, yeah, I was hoping this well, is all right. You know? You're going to be paying bills by the seat of your pants too. <laughs> well, maybe so. But all right. Well, that's all. That's okay. I was just asking for your advice there. I don't, I don't think you're asking for my advice. I think you're asking for my approval, and you don't have it. Tom like it. Woof. Tom like it. Wolf one hundred five eight hundred. Tom, 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 Tom. Me and my friends made up a little statement. It's like women are like leeches. Either way they go, they suck you dry. <laughs> the Tom Like It Show. Like is one hundred one. From Hollywood at one eight hundred five eight hundred top. Dorian, you're on with your professor. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. Well, I got this big problem. Very big problem. I mean, uh, the question is, what the, the solution? What I want to know is, I have this ex girlfriend who just we just broke up a couple days ago. She had cheated on me, so I dumped that bitch. And um, the question is, what is, what am I supposed to do now? Not have girlfriends. <laughs> and that's, but um, the whole situation, well, let me introduce you to the whole situation. What happened was, I was young. She was my high school sweetheart. We've gone, we've been going out for, we were going out for three years. Nah, that's very bad. Go ahead. And I'm a really traditional guy. I, you know, I always had in my eyes that, you know, I'm going to marry my high school sweetheart. We're going to grow up. Yeah, but she's a slut. Yeah. And, and because then, you are so young and immature, you have a bad judgment and you fell in love with someone who's a slut. All right. So then what? Well, at the time, she was like a big, um, good, she was a good girl. No, no, we, she's a so slut. What, but yeah, by the way, she's also college. she's also too young to be in a serious relationship. And yeah, so are you. That's true. And the thing is, it was three years. That was a little a big part of my of growing up. And now what is a single man or an immature man to do? Just get laid and stop having girlfriends. But like I'm not, I've like I've been out of the game for three years. You you need to be in the game all the time, and that means you're gonna fail sometimes and be rejected sometimes. But that's what you need to do. So I should just go straight into the game and try to get laid. Right, repeatedly by various people, and no more girlfriends. Yeah, I learned that lesson. You want to have a girlfriend? Wait until you you are successful in your career. What school are you going to, son? Um, Orange Coast College. Is that an actual university or is that a community college? Community college. Oh, Jesus. And uh, <laughs> what are you studying? I'm going to be a high school teacher. Right. So what university are you planning to transfer to after you do your uh, time in community college? Cal State Long Beach. All right. Yeah, like right now, I'm, um, I'm actually an after-school tutor. 
Fine. You should not have a girlfriend until you are employed at the blankety blank elementary school or wherever it is you're going. <laughs> That's when you have a girlfriend. So what? Uh, and not one Friday minute night, before. Friday night, Saturday night, I'm supposed to be going out. And getting laid. What am I supposed to do with the ex-girlfriend who, like, she tries, she... She's a slut, and you are supposed to dump her like you did. You already did it. There's nothing to discuss. So when she comes up to me, I just walk away. Tell her to go F the guy she's been effing. <laughs> that's sweet. So is that, that's it. That's good advice. Done. All that. Yes. Cool. Yes. Awesome. All right, man. You got... Thanks for the advice. Now I got a clear view of what to do. Got to get laid. Got to hook up with chicks. And remember, awesome. you're going to get rejected. Get ready. That, I think that's one big part of me. Like, I hate rejection. <laughs> well, guess what? It's part of being a man. And right. uh, a man knows there is rejection. And also, I got to agree with you about talking about um, guys growing up with um, single parents with a mom. I was listening earlier, and I never thought about that. Yeah, I was raised by a mom. Yep. And she would tell me that, um, yeah, I'm your dad's an ass. You know, don't do that, because... That was from another yeah. century, son. And the end, that screws you over. That was from another century. People are not like that anymore. Yeah, I, I've seen that now. So stop being like that. You're right. So, all right, Tom, thanks for the advice, and can you blow me up? Yes, I can. Alphonse, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you doing, Tom? Great. Um, this is my situation, um... I'm 20 years old. I have nothing to show for it. I have suspended license. Um, my chick's pregnant. I have a job, full-time job. It's Applebee's. It ain't worth. It ain't worth nothing, really, you know. Right. Um, and why did you allow your life to spiral out of control like this? Um, it was lame. I was young. Um, I, honestly, I was young. I was about 17. Got my heart broke by a chick. I was on my on my way to playing. I would play football for Mount Six. Mount Sac. Sorry. Slid a disc in my back. The first couple of days of hell week and would just like forget it I'm, I'm good for nothing all i could do is play sports started doing drugs got into a crystal mess got into hanging out with the wrong crowd um then i try to straighten myself out again i met this chick um which is like my, my girl now that i'm pregnant if you were straightening yourself out why did you let her get pregnant okay this is two years later though she's pregnant i don't care why did you ever let her get pregnant i don't know it's 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 hard, man. I, I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, you know, we're having sex all the time, and you know, you're right. I should have I should have been strapped up, but it was. For, I mean, we were doing it for so long. And I know it's, I have no right answer for my situation. I have no way of being right. Well, I mean, stop being you know, so sure that you were trying to turn your life around because if you were having sex without a condom, you were continuing to dig a hole for yourself. You're right. You're right. So, like, I don't know, man. What do you think? What do you, I mean, what what's you the question? Excuse me? What is the question? Do you have what, a question? Yeah, my question was, just what should I, I mean, where, where, where should I go with this? I mean, like, I don't know, dude. You need to be going back to school, son. All right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Didn't you have any dreams as a kid about be You didn't dream about where making baby back ribs at Applebee's, did you, as a kid? Oh, man, negative. Nah. What, what were your dreams as a child, son? Playing music, man, being a producer, just, just doing my... I mean, yeah, music and why haven't you gotten any education? Excuse me? Why haven't you gotten any education at that? <laughs> you know, it's funny about that. Um, I recently applied for passing the city college over here next to my house for uh, my general ed and then going from there what I wanted to do. And now I got a baby in my hands, and I can't even register because I got to make money now, you know? So what, the baby was born? No, it's not born. It's just in the pro It's three months, you know? It's, it's Did you ask her to have an abortion? Yeah, I asked, and she's like, no. Uh-huh. And uh, so why are you with this woman? I honestly love her. 
We've been through thick and thin. I've been through how through. We've been oh, through. well. <laughs> yeah. Well, she's not good for you. I mean... You do not need to be in a relationship. But, uh, you know, you're doing, you're doing everything wrong, and you're going to continue to do everything wrong. So the right steps are going towards school, right? So you'll go from Applebee's to uh, Chili's to <laughs> Coco's. If you're lucky, maybe you'll become a manager at TGI Fridays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. I'm not even, I'm looking I love that. Stripe. I love that little striped shirt they wear too at TGI Fridays. <laughs> the little referee shirts. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, do you, can you make your own potato skins at home? Do you, <laughs> like when you come home from work, can you like dazzle us with your uh, footwork in the kitchen? <laughs> oh man, man. <laughs> can you sing the baby back song from Chili's? <laughs> No, man. Because that could be yeah, your fear. I know you're at Apple. I, I know you're at Applebee's man. now, but one day you might have to go to the job interview at Chili's. They might make you get on your knees and sing that. <laughs> man, I don't, no, I don't know. That's not the question. I don't know. Because that's your future, son. That's where you're heading. All right, man. That's it. Now, and by the way, you'll knock her up again too, <laughs> just for good measure, because you love her. Man. Right. Yeah, I do. I do. There you go. Well, that's good. As I always say, I'm thrilled for I'm thrilled for guys like you because I need guys like you to shine my shoes and pick up my garbage. So I'm just thrilled there are guys like you, <laughs> stupid enough to keep uh, shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, man. It wasn't for you who would deliver my pizza. Uh, you know, uh, who would deliver my L.A. Times every day? Who would ask me if I wanted paper or plastic? I need guys like you. I need guys like you to do menial labor so rich guys like me can have an easier life. Well, what do you do at Applebee's? Uh, I work I work in the Expo line and I'm a host. You're a host? Yeah. Hi, I'm Alphonse. I'll be your waiter tonight. <laughs> oh, man. Can I get some drinks for the table? That's you. That's great. Very fulfilling. Do you get to replace the uh, the wood chips there in the grill or anything? What, do you get to do any of the interesting stuff? I mean, yeah, on Expo, I get to, like, hook up the food to, like, you know, the sauces and stuff like that, you know. That's those, great. Those sides, you know? Right. Very nice. How about this very fulfilling? Uh, so there you are, uh, 20 years old, and you're already uh, into a very fulfilling career. I mean... I'm trying to get into construction, but I got to spend a license on working on that. Trying to get into construction. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That, but what, what kind of degree do you need for that? Yeah. It's good money, though. It's good money when you're working. But as you, anybody who knows anyone in construction knows, uh, you work on a job, and then when it's over, you don't work for a while, and maybe you're out of work for a few months even. So no matter how good the pay is when you're getting paid, it uh, the pay is zero when you're not working. Yeah. You, you know that, right? Yeah, I'm aware of that. That's quite a life to look forward to. Sucks. <laughs> sucks. Yeah, but uh, you did it to yourself. Yeah, I did. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. You know, when I uh, bring my boys into the Applebee's, we'll be asking you for that extra shot. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got you, man. Hey, got my back. Good. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> it's very nice. All right. We might also need, like, I might need my ribs. I might need to get a tinfoil and make, like, a little swan out of it so I can take my ribs <laughs> home. <laughs> oh, man. Can you handle that for me? Man, I got it. I got it under control. Okay, got good. Because <laughs> guys like you get the important work done. Like I say, I can look into the eyes, see deep down to the soul when I'm standing in line at the supermarket, and I see that person going boop, 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 boop all day long. And I, I, I look at the eyes of a person who got knocked up in high school, or who knocked someone up in high school. Every few years, they'll threaten to go on strike over there at Albertsons or Ralph's, you know. Yeah. You know. Because, but the reality is, they wouldn't be working at the supermarket if they didn't do dumb things as kids, like you.
All that partying, all that crystal meth, hope it was worth it. No. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Pat. Sex without a condom probably felt great, right? Yeah, it did. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, but now, you know, it's like I'm in a hole. You put yourself in the hole. You took a big shovel and started digging. When I started. We should have had a groundbreaking ceremony for you. We should just uh, you know, take out in a spade and started, you know, turning over uh, the you know, spades full of dirt. <laughs> Man. And, and so we could bury you in your own self dug grave. <laughs> Forever. That's where you're going. It's amazing. By the way, if it does work out in construction, I hear that uh, Jeffrey Lube needs people to do 1995 all changes. <laughs> all right. And um, I'd also like to get some new wiper blades while I'm at it. Good luck on that. Our email address, tom at lowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.